All right, so as we look at ways to practice healthier habits, specifically to reduce stress in our lives, I'd like to hit the topic of sunk costs. Now, you may be wondering how previous investments relate to health and our decisions moving forward, but consider this. Time is a resource, just like money. And the same things that prevent us from making objective decisions about our money can affect our decisions on how we spend our time as well. The same reasons why it's hard to walk away from the blackjack table when you're down a few bucks or, or to get rid of that stock that you've invested in or, or the fixer-upper automobile that you've poured money into to get working again. Those reasons carry over into the time and effort that we've invested in other things as well. Earlier in this series, uh, I've pointed out how we need to take a hard look at the things that occupy our time and determine where we can free up or add some white space. So my question for you is this. What extra activities are you doing right now that you may not feel cause you extra stress but that you just continue to do because you're used to it or because that's what you've done for a long time are you the the treasurer for your for your son's preschool because you feel like no one else will do it do you still do things for your six-year-old that that she could do for herself have you taken on an extra volunteer role at work your time is a resource just like your money is so be careful where you spend it If you can save a little time by letting go of something, you may feel less stress and therefore be able to live a little bit healthier.